Hello and welcome. I am Shan TV, and we are playing Occupy Mars, the game. Um, we're going to start a new game today. It's going to be a free play, and we're doing everything on Madman. So, on Madman, it's going to be the hardest difficulty level, a few resources, lots of weather effects. Um, we're not going to start out with any real technical knowledge as far as the blueprints and the skill trees go. Um, we're going to go through our resources faster, like your food and your water and your oxygen and your power. And um, the starting equipment is the very minimal. As an example, this is tourists. There's a lot more stuff. Colonists, there's still quite a bit going on there. And then on Madman, you've got just about nothing. Nothing but the bare bones. I'm going to pick kind of a, a random spot here. I'm just going to type some numbers in for the seed. And let's do it. This game is produced by Pyramid Games. Um, I've been looking forward to this game for a while now. And I have played through a few times off camera just to kind of get the hang of the game and learn what to do. There's a little bit of a learning curve in this game, but it's not too bad. It is an early alpha game, or an early access game, not an early alpha. Early access game, so it is very much so incomplete. But we're going to do the best we can, work around whatever bugs we run into, and make a season out of it. Since we are playing on Madman, I'm going to basically take any kind of death as a permadeath. So, uh, unless it is a bug that kills me, then I'll reload. But if it's not a bug, if it's just me being silly and removing my helmet in a place that doesn't have oxygen, like outside, That'll be a permadeath. Uh, if it's a bug, we'll reload. So this is their little intro here. There is no music, no sound. Um, that is a work in progress still, as much of the game is. But there is enough stuff in the game right now that it is playable for the most part. If you like survivals, if you like hard, difficult survival games, this is this is a good choice. And we are down. Here we go. All right, so that is the introductory follow survival procedures and match message. Um, it does refer you to the tech tree tab, which is right here. You can use the T key. Um, one of the things that I really like about this game is the tech trees. There are four trees in the game and they're pretty expansive, um, but they do have some stuff that is not available like uh, this one here in the botany for customization. Um, if you go over to like electricity, there's 
you know, there's a lot of stuff in here too, but like solar panel three, um, automated something cleaning. Um, but yeah, so tech trees are pretty expansive. And they got a lot of fun stuff in them. So let's get right to it. First things first, I'm gonna grab the jackhammer and hopefully it's not gonna be too boring for you, but we're gonna spend pretty much the first two days crunching material down. Played a game similar to this um, about six years ago. It was called Rock. Uh, it was a Mars-based survival game. They had a lot more stuff that you could build and play with. It was early access as well and cost $2 million to get into early access. So it was a very labor-intensive game for the development team to work on. Unfortunately, their funding fell through, and that was the end of Rock. But I always kind of tell myself if I ever became a millionaire, I would buy out the rights to that game and see it finished because the world needs a game like that. And so hopefully that's what we're getting here, but I'm not going to keep my hopes up too high because, well, to be honest, the player base for this game is very small. So we got our first point right off the bat. I'm not going to go in there yet and purchase anything until we got another couple of points. So you've got, uh, what is it, four major resources that are mineable. We got silicon, which is what we're mining up right now. There's iron, there's aluminum, and there's calcium. Now, there's also uranium in the game, but the item that uses uranium is not in the game yet. Or it is in the game, but not something that you can make or use yet. So. We're in kind of a hurry because we do have some rations that came in the pod, but we don't have very much water. You can see the hunger and hydration down there in the lower right. Water is a very crippling thing here on Mars. And it seems like you kind of need it all the time. And the only way to get it really is by drilling it out of the ground uh, with a well. You will see in short order, I'm, I'm sure, how fast hydration runs out. Uh, and when you're out exploring, that's pretty much the main thing that you need to be conscious of because your, your hydration runs out a lot faster than your suit battery and your suit oxygen. This will be my first video on YouTube. I'm sure that it will have very few views, but that's okay. Everybody's got to start somewhere, right? Comments will be very much so appreciated. I will try to respond as much as I can. I will 
I'll try to quality control the videos as far as audio is concerned, but if something needs tweaking, don't be afraid to let me know. Now, for about the first 30 to 45 days in the game, mining rocks by hand like this is really the only way to get raw resources. Um, after that you can get a rover and a rock crusher and the rover will haul the bigger chunks to the rock crusher and you'll get a lot more resources. As you can see these only have um, a few resources in them. But once you get the rock crusher it's like easy mode has been activated. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate if you're playing Madman on the hard dif difficulty settings. Um, you know, we play on hard settings so that the game is difficult, right? So. Three silicon rocks right in a row. That's good. Silicon is very important. But I need more than silicon to make things like the well. I'm just blindly mining things, I guess. More worried about the points right now. It is possible to go down to like zero hunger and zero hydration and keep yourself alive on solely first aid kits, which is kind of unrealistic, but kind of not. You figure if you're on Mars, then a first aid kit should have a little bit more than uh, what you would find in a first aid kit here on Earth. I would expect a first aid kit on a um, planet such as Mars to have possibly an oxygen tank in it, a little water, some food. Uh, and, and the pod does come with food, but looking at first aid kits for what they are, other than triage tools, I would think that it might have something along the lines of uh, an emergency ration paste, something like that, that's going to give you an injection of calories. Not necessarily going to sustain you like, um, you know, like processed food or an MRE, which is what they have in this game. Uh, but I could see that using a first aid kit to keep yourself alive in a game like this might be reasonable, kind of. It's it's a long jump for logic, but it's still a jump. All right, what do we got here? So this one is going to be Iron, okay. Can use a little bit of iron. I do stream on Twitch, so feel free to come by on Twitch and you can catch my latest stream, or if I'm live, you can come and see what we're doing there. I have been playing. Occupy Mars on Twitch. My schedule has been pretty sporadic on Twitch lately. So, don't necessarily look at the bottom of my channel for a schedule. It's probably not accurate. But generally speaking, on the weekends, sometime around noon Pacific is when I will start. And during the weekdays, um, somewhere around 3 or 4 p.m. Pacific. Oh, 
don't exactly know exactly how much of what I need. So I do know that I need silicon, iron, and aluminum. So we'll try and find an aluminum rock after this iron. That's the iron mined up. And the game's yelling at me about hydration, so we need to find that aluminum real quick so we can get the hydration taken care of. Alright, what's in this guy? stacked these really weird where's okay there's this base I'm gonna head over here and grab the ATV and the uh, small circuit board and then head off and try and find aluminum There is a button that allows you to have extra sensory perception. I will hit it real quick. It's the Z button. It shows an outline of things. I'm not going to play it with the ESP because uh, it really kind of just makes the hard difficulty easier. Um, so if I miss something, I miss something. And if I find it, I find it. Uh, you will see me do things like checking this second locker because that's generally where tablets and such things spawn. There's a circuit board. There's another one. I'm not going to check the rest of those lockers. Sometimes things spawn in them, but not often. Usually that second one in. Medium circuit board. That'll, that'll be handy later. I'm probably going to set that down somewhere and forget about it. There's a tablet. Okay. Let's head back out. Grab that ATV. And I need to go find an aluminum rock. These yellow things always have stuff in them. That was solid rocket fuel. There is a meteor, um, like defense gun rocket in the game that you can build. I don't know if it actually works, so I'm not going to bother. Maybe you can tell me down in the comments. Yes, I'm working on it. Feels so much slower when you're looking at the other camera view there. All right, what do we got? What is this? What are you? What are you? Silicon. Let's try. 
try one of these two. that iron and that is calcium has quite a bit in it. It says uh, unknown ore ready to load below it. That's talking about when you have the rover. You can load it into the rover and then crush it down these big brown pieces. I don't know that they give you as much as the smaller rocks like this do. Uh, but I know that you can load them. And it does seem to fill the trailer. all the big brown pieces. Seventeen forty five, we're not gonna have enough time to get a well up for water today. I think that's all of the aluminum. Let's go back to the ATV and head back to our capsule. After I get the well up, I'll do a better job of searching through that abandoned base, see if there's anything in there that I missed that's super important. This is kind of a nice big flat area. This might actually turn out to be a decent spot for base building. It is very flat. 
generally what I do is build up a few buildings here in the starting area to get me going um, and then I'll nomad out to another large uh, flat spot in order to make a bigger base. So what I need is resources and a well. So I need 11 small pipes, two aluminum plates, a steel plate, four solar cells because I picked one up, three engines, five screws, and I did pick up one electronic, so I need another one. Let me grab these med kits. Oh, you know what? It gave me everything to make a well, didn't it? It sure did. I'm a dummy. So it looks like I'm going to be surviving tonight off of first aid kits. Decided to make this video for YouTube and totally forgot how to play the game in doing so. Imagine that. Alright, where is the detector? Alright, it's not too cold out yet, but it will be shortly. Um, what I don't have is blowtorch. So I'm going to make up 10 first aid kits. And I need to look at blueprints for the blowtorch. Not blueprints, tech tree. Tech tree. Here's the blowtorch. So now I can build. Now I can grind, and I'm going to get the air compressor just because I will need it eventually to get the better jackhammer and grinder. I don't ever get the radio, I don't ever get the extinguisher. I haven't played around with the detonator yet. That could be fun, maybe we'll try and do that this round. So I'm going to take my helmet off. We have oxygen in here. I have my helmet hotkeyed that way I don't have to go into my inventory and take it off. But I do have to take off the oxygen tank in order to fill it. I can do until morning. It's too cold to go out and do anything. So, sleepy time. Now, it's going to tell me my helmet has cracked, but I'm not wearing my helmet, so there's no reason for it to have been cracked. Helmet leak detected. See? Now, if I go ahead and put my helmet back on, there isn't going to be any cracks in the face shield there. So, I don't know what the developer's intentions were with that, but I do think that maybe trying to sleep while hungry and thirsty is something that they didn't want you to be able to do. I do know if you try and do this with your helmet on, it will crack. So, let's put the helmet back on. There's no point in waiting through the night when we're thirsty and hungry. Uh, did I pick up food at that base? I do have food on me, so I'll go ahead and consume those. That tablet I got was workshop printer. These um, pods come with a tablet also. It's right over here in the corner. 
that one is ATV. Okay. Uh, and we're going to go to this dark spot right in front of us on the ground. That's going to be where the water is. I don't need the spectral detector to tell me that. So build up the well, get some water, build up a grinder. Oh, you know what? I didn't make that blowtorch. Silly me. Go blow torch. Make the grinder while I'm at it. Grab the first aid kits while I'm at it. state kits. I'm gonna put these circuit boards in here because I don't need them anytime soon. Now we play the waiting game for this blowtorch. There's not a whole lot of people streaming this game or putting videos up on YouTube for it. Um, I know there's like two or three regular people posting videos on YouTube. Um, and clearly I'm starting my YouTube channel with a game that has a very low player base. So I'm not like trying to be popular or famous by any means. But I know when I'm like at work, for example, and have nothing to do, I like to go around on Facebook and watch videos or uh, can watch videos out in my car. So, you know, this is for uh, not only myself, but other people that don't have anything going on or gamers don't have access to their games. Watch other people play. Did I grab it? Oh, what am I missing? Oh, I didn't make anything. I thought I grabbed all this stuff. Oh, it starts you with one, one pipe short. That's why you have to go out and mine. You have to get what you need. Um, that one pipe, that's all I need. Back to the capsule. Maybe the grinder will be done. Okay. Pipe. One pipe. There's the grinder. There's the pipe. Okay, so I use four for the blowtorch, two for my grinder. Since I'm doing permadeath on here, I'm not going to wait for this thing to start filling with water. 
I'm gonna take one of these med kits right now. And here in about 20 seconds, this will have enough water for me to hydrate. So we've got one base there, two there. It's probably something over there as well. Let's take a look at the map. This direction is over here. Oh, this stuff's way out there. Okay. All right. Another little one there. There's one over here. They're, they're there. They're just kind of spread out. So here's the one, and there's two, three behind that, four, five, six. Okay, there's a lot off in that direction. So we're going to head over to these two first. Turn the music up just a little bit. Let me know if it's too quiet or too loud. Alright, we should have enough water stored up now. That'll get me through the day. I'll come back tonight and top off before I use the pod to go to sleep. I can grind outside. I think I can grind these. Yeah. So you can grind these big crates and the small crates with this level one grinder. And then the things like those wells of the solar panels, those are going to need the level two grinder. So this stuff is all grindable. Got a materials point.
not going to bother grabbing the cement. We don't need it anytime soon, and it's just going to take up space. Let's go inside and do some grinding. I reinstalled my game onto a solid state drive today from a hard drive and hopefully that will fix some of the lag issues that I've been having. I'm not sure if it had to do with the hard drive or the amount of map that I've loaded into the last game. I'll find out tomorrow when I go to stream. I've checked all of the airlocks, so I'll have to try and remember to do that. Sometimes there's things sitting in the little nooks in the ground on the airlocks. trying to grind the building, I'm trying to grind that backpack. There we go. Check that nook in the airlock, see there's a small circuit board. And since I found that one, there's probably not going to be anything in the rest of them. Yeah, I came through this one. Okay. I think I came through that one. I don't bother with the bottles. Those bottles are grindable, but they just take too much time in my opinion. They're not not worth the, the effort.
Got this button on my mouth. Mouse that I occasionally click. Oh, there's another circuit board. That puts away the stuff that I have in my hand. Um, which is annoying when you're trying to grind. Or mine ore. Gonna need to build a solar panel probably tomorrow. Recharge the suit and the ATV. I think that's everything for this base. Um, you can grind down these cables to get a cable from them, but that is really hard to hit those things with the grinder, and you just get one cable from them. It's really not worth the time. So we got a little bit of time left in the day. I think I'm going to grind, uh, or not grind, I'm going to mine down this giant rock here next to the, the drop pod. Then I'll head out, refill my hydration. We'll disperse some points into the tech tree and go from there.
One giant rock down. A thousand more to go. I think that's all the little gifts that it gave me. Oh, dang, that was a good time for a reminder because I was about to go into that pod and call it uh, a day. Okay, thanks music, you can stop. Usually I have the music turned off when I play. Um, I think eventually uh, when I stream I use no copyright sounds. So I think I might start incorporating those into the YouTube videos instead of letting the game's music go in the background. So what do we need to build a solar panel? It's going to be pipes, solar cells, small engines. We have everything. Okay. Let's build one. Something like right there is fine for now. Just need to get something up. That way we can charge the suit in the morning. And I'll probably hook up the ATV to charge in the morning as well because I'm gonna uh, just run out that way and spend the next day crunching rocks um, four solar cells short of another yeah, let's make those right now You know what? Let's not make those right now. Inventory, put those away. Bring the circuit boards down. Clean up the inventory a little bit. Okay. So close it up. Can take the helmet off. We can remove the O2 bottle and get that charged. Back in. I'll stop it. Yeah, um, the next video, I'm not going to have the game's music going. Um, that's right, I ate all the food that I had in my inventory, so grab this food. Pod gives you four to start with, and let's go ahead and eat one now. Maybe not. I'll wait. Uh, okay, so I have materials. We got to do the workshop before we can do anything else. And from the workshop, the best in choice is going to be probably the pump hmm so we need the survival capsule to go out in nomad actually that might not be a bad idea let's do the small corridor and next materials point, I'll do a survival capsule. I don't have any points for anything else, but I will have a point for electricity here soon. Anyway, that's just about an hour, so I'm going to call it there.
if you like the video and you want to see more, motivate me by hitting the like and subscribe. Um, it's a new channel. You'll be among the first followers, subscribers, and uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll just start recording all of my sessions and putting them on. So uh, this one recording was two days, so I think that that might be the the op tempo for for this game. So I'm Shan TV. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.